Hey, 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 you guys. I'm about to get ready and do a general love reading for the collective, okay? So take what resonates, only what resonates, and leave what is not for someone who it may resonate for, okay? I'm gonna get ready and tap in, ask my higher self, the most high in the message to help me in this intuitive reading. All right, on the bottom of this deck, we have crossroads, okay? Choice, multiple options, turning point, and decision. So someone could have been indecisive about having multiple options, but it looks like somebody has a choice to make, okay? Let's see. We have storm warning, upheaval, obstacles, wrecking ball, drama. Okay, someone could be indecisive about making this choice because they don't want any drama. I don't know why I'm getting that. Like somebody is indecisive about a decision that they want to make, but they're trying to avoid some type of drama, some type of upheaval. We got legal matters, justice, divorce, balance, judgment. So this could be someone who's contemplating divorce. That's why they don't want no drama. Okay. Someone could have made a decision or was indecisive where it led to some type of legal matter. Okay. But I'm really getting more so like somebody's getting some type of divorce or someone's taking someone to court about something. Someone could be fighting something in court. Okay. Proposal came out next. Love, offer, engagement, agreement, wish come true. Libra energy is significant. Okay, we got unexpected, surprise, unpredictable, shocking, unusual. So you may unexpectedly find out something about someone getting some type of divorce or going to court about something. Someone definitely could be fighting something in court. This could be someone who wants to make you some type of love offer. This may be a love offer you don't even expect. Or you may hear somebody proposing to someone else. But I'm really feeling like it's you. Because the girl in this picture and that picture are the same person. I don't know. Let's see. We have soulmate, twin flame, soul contract, soul connection, past lives. Okay, this is definitely a soulmate. Maybe you'll receive some type of shocking news about a soulmate. This person may want to come in and propose. If this person is married, they possibly are fighting something in court. Especially when it comes to some type of divorce. We have change. Okay, regeneration, growth, metamorphosis, cycle. So somebody is closing out a cycle. They're growing, they're changing. This is someone who's possibly making a decision to make change. But again, they could be trying to avoid something. Like maybe they're trying to avoid having some type of drama or upheaval in court. Hmm. Let's see. We got heartbreak, hurt, betrayal, grief, disappointed. Okay, I feel like whoever this is, they know that the changes that they will have to make, someone's going to end up heartbroken. They could even be heartbroken about this decision that they have to make. I'm not saying the person that they're divorcing wasn't somebody they once loved. This could be somebody who they loved. And you know, people fall out of love. You know, people outgrow each other. And it might be one of them situations. This could be someone who's realizing they're outgrowing someone or that, you know, they just chose different paths. But then there's another one, another person I feel like will start some drama. Okay, especially if they find out somebody is wanting to take some type of legal action. Let's see. We got roll the dice, take a risk, a chance, a leap of faith, strategic. So someone is wanting to take a leap of faith. They're, they're being strategic about how to move when it comes to a situation. This is someone who I heard doesn't want to lose it all. So maybe they feel like if they go through this legal matter with someone that they're going to lose everything. This could be someone who built something somewhere else. Okay, but whoever this is, they're going to take a chance, a risk, a leap of faith to make some type of change. We got friends, acquaintance, trust, support, loyalty. This could be a friend of yours. Okay, let's see. We have music, musician, snake charmer, harmony, melody. 
Someone could be a musician into music, likes music. Someone could play the guitar. Okay. Let's see, on the bottom of the deck, we got wedding. I knew it. Somebody's married, y'all. Somebody's married, and they they are like caught between they like they're indecisive about what route they want to. I feel like they they've already made their decision, but they're trying to be strategic on how to exit the situation because they know that they're married to someone who may start some type of drama, some upheaval, especially if they have to take this person to court and do like separation of stuff, like separation of assets. Okay, but whoever this is, it looks like they want to divorce somebody to propose to you. Okay, yeah, somebody surrendering a fucking marriage to reconcile with you. I cannot make this up. Y'all, so somebody's married, and they're making a decision to divorce someone. Okay, this is someone who don't want it to blow up in their face. This is someone who doesn't want it to blow up in their face, whether they feel like this person gonna go nuts or they feel like they're gonna try to take them for all they got. But it's something that has this person indecisive or scared to make this decision because of, of drama. That's really what I'm getting. But this person is definitely letting this go. They married to somebody else, y'all. They is leaving this person. They give up, okay? They're releasing, they're letting go so they can come and reconcile with you. Look at that. Okay, reunion, second chance, back together. I miss you. Trust in divine timing. Allow things to flow. Okay. I just so happen to look over and the karmic relationship is at the top of this deck. So I feel like someone could be realizing they were married to a karmic. Okay. Especially with this storm warning. Like they feel like whoever this karmic energy is, they are going to go nuts comes to them taking something to court oh a marriage divorce that's really what it's giving y'all somebody's getting divorced so they could come and propose to you this is someone who's in love okay let's see y'all this is a general love reading for the collective and i don't believe in breaking up um happy homes if somebody bought somebody into a marriage or, you know, like, let's, we're, I don't even want to say that you're the reason why they're divorcing this person, but let's say somebody was like trying to blame you because I'm getting this energy and trying to blame you. Like you got into, like you were, you were a wedge. I didn't get third party. I don't feel like this person was trying to make you like a third party. I feel like the changes that this person is making because change is right in the middle. I feel like the changes that this person is making is because they've been disappointed. They've been hurt. They could have already grieved this connection and they're just ready to end it. This is someone who feels like they have a soulmate connection to you, yes, but... I just feel like this is someone who's kind of done with the drama. Like, that's why they're indecisive and, and trying to be strategic with moving around this person because they know this person is going to bring up some type of drama, some type of fight. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's see. On the bottom of this deck, we got the tower card. Divine intervention, okay? Something is being dismantled, okay? Spirit is breaking something down that was built on a faulty foundation, okay? Behind that, we have the lover's card. Gemini energy um, with Leo behind there. Somebody feels like the love between y'all is growing stronger. King of Wands right behind there. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You can find this person to be very attractive, Okay. Yeah, this person is walking away from somebody. They definitely trying to release some type of conflict. Let's see. What's to this energy spirit? We have the seven of wands. Okay. You're being protected for something from something. Something has been blocked. Okay. We have the eight of pentacles here. with the seven of pentacles. So you're protected, okay? I feel like you've been focused on working on yourself, building on a craft, a skill, invested in your craft, invested in this skill, manifesting with this craft, manifesting with this skill. It's bringing you stability with the four of wands, okay? I also feel like 
someone you either blocked or someone whose spirit was trying to protect you from, or this person could have been trying to protect you from something. We have the Empress in reverse. Someone's married to somebody who's lazy. Okay, this person was invested, was trying to work and invest a lot into a marriage, a union, with possibly a wife, but this could be a husband and feminine energy, y'all. Take it how it Okay. <laughs> But it's looking like somebody has, somebody in feminine energy is married to a feminine energy. This is just energy. Okay, but whoever says they lazy as fuck. Okay, this person could be pregnant. This could be a baby's mom, a baby's mother, mother figure. Don't have to be in marriage, but I'm really seeing marriage right here. This is somebody's wife. Somebody was really invested in working with this person. We have the queen of wands in reverse. Whatever this is, it's just sex. <laughs> it is. Someone also could have blocked you because of a baby's mother or a wife. This is someone who's jealous of you. Envious of you. Someone who isn't confident. With the Six of Wands here, followed by the Ten of Wands, someone could be recognizing this, that someone lacks confidence, that someone is lazy, that they're the ones carrying all the weight, all the burdens, okay, all the responsibilities. With the Wheel of Fortune um, at the bottom of the deck, Sagittarius Energy, we have Taurus Energy here. Leo, Sag, Aries. They're going to have a decision. Someone's making a decision to turn things around. Now, this is fated to happen. Whatever this is, it's fated to happen. What's to this energy spirit? We have the sun card, Leo energy. I'm hearing no. Somebody's telling somebody no. Someone's unhappy. They're unhappy trying to work on something because they're being left with carrying on all the responsibilities, all the burdens. They're the one invested, all of that. And somebody else is just sitting back and enjoying the ride. Okay? We got the hangman card, Pisces, Cancer Energy at the bottom of the deck. This is someone who's going to change perspective about someone or a situation where they're no longer happy. This is someone who, who's been moving on, moving forward, moving away. Slowly but surely, they're going through an awakening. This person could be going through some type of awakening. What's to this spirit? This is someone with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse who no longer wants to invest in something. Yeah, somebody's saying no to investing in someone or giving someone money or someone could have heard no when it came to some type of new opportunity. I don't know, but with the Five of Cups in reverse, this is somebody who's like in deep regret. This person could have missed an opportunity to be happy because they were feeling weighed down about having a successful marriage. This person could have been weighed down about having a successful marriage, a marriage that they invested at least a few years, y'all. This is like, this is giving me like at least one to eight years. One to eight years, at least. Somebody has really been invested in somebody, trying to work on something, protect something. And they're recognizing that they've been doing all the work and they're unhappy. Yeah, and whoever this is with the Eight of Cups, they're releasing this, they're walking away. They could have had regrets when it came to a marriage, to a union. God dang. We got the tower card. It came out in reverse. So that tower we started off with, it's already happened. It has already happened. Somebody's walking away. They're making a decision to walk away. 
or they already made i told y'all i feel like this person has already made the decision but with the storm warning there they're trying to avoid a fight like they're trying to avoid some type of upheaval they're wanting to walk away kind of like smooth. It's like this is already somebody who hasn't been invested in this anymore because they're seeing that they're no longer happy, but they're still feeling way down because they still have a lot of responsibilities, obligations, you know, that they have to take on. We have the Six of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. Someone's learning who to give to. And it's a soulmate. Okay, they've been receiving signs and synchronicities about a soulmate. And this is helping someone to move on. It's helping this person to move on. They're learning that they are coming into a soulmate union that's going to be more receptive. This could be someone who's new to learning about soulmates. We have the Page of Wands in reverse. They could also be learning that they were given to somebody who was very lustful. I don't know why I heard side piece, but somebody could have had a side piece. A queen of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, they had this person waiting at a distance with the three of um, wands here. Somebody was waiting at a distance, waiting on this person, meditating on a decision to balance things out with this person, but I don't know. This Queen of Pentacles didn't know. They were manifesting a karmic. They seen the truth now. This could be a baby's father, a father figure. Okay, let's see. We have the horrific card in reverse, Taurus energy. Someone's definitely gonna find out some bad news about a divorce. This is gonna cause some type of upheaval for someone. One more spirit. But it's going to give someone a change of perspective as well. Somebody has been receiving enlightenment about them wanting to divorce somebody. Somebody that they've been given to. Somebody who they've been invested in for years. They're walking away from this person. We have the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. For some, this could have been a sneaky link situation. I don't know if you were the sneaky link or if they were sneaky linking with the Queen of Wands in reverse. This queen of wands in reverse could have been married to somebody else. Y'all take it how it resonates, okay? But somebody definitely married. Okay. But somebody got into some type of sneaky link situation that they were in their head about. Someone could have also been in their head about whether they had a sneaky link situation with you or if that was like real romance. So someone could still be trying to figure out their emotions for you. But I feel like whoever this is, they see happiness with you. They see fulfillment with you. And there go that two of swords again. This is someone who's making a decision to make change, to turn things around in their favor. Okay, whoever this is, they're going to communicate to you. Okay. Whoever this is, they're Earth Angel with a temperance card, Sagittarius energy, King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person is closing out a cycle to start a new Taurus energy. Okay, they've been going through an awakening, Scorpio energy. Okay. And this person is ready to move towards you, okay, to build something solid. They've been really nostalgic about you. They've been holding this back, though, because they're still feeling wounded and possibly dealing with some financial burdens, okay? But this is someone who wants to reconcile with y'all. Whoever this is, they're going to communicate to you, okay? I want to get one more reading in, y'all, and see how this go, but... That was the love reading. Somebody definitely feel like, y'all, they soulmate. And they making change so that they can come towards you. Okay? And for some, this person has to go through some type of divorce. Or they're going, they're fighting something in court with someone. Okay? Well, let's see. I don't want to get another deck. Yes, yeah, so let's get another deck. I'm going to get my channel messages deck. So let's see, this is going to be another general love reading for the collective. So take what resonates and leave what does not. Let's see. On the bottom of this 
today. We got, I wear my heart on my sleeve, water energy. Okay, so someone is really loving. They wear their heart on their sleeve. They could be a water sign. Okay, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or have that in their chart. Okay, let's see. This is General Love, Reading Spirit for the Collective. Oh my God. 